All right, here we go again, out for another video. Welcome back. Thank you very much to all my subscribers and everybody that comments. So I've had two companies in the last week uh, just make a comment to me about how engaged my viewers are. And my answer always very simple to them. Yes, I have the best subscribers on YouTube and that's why I'm trying to get them discounts. It's very simple. I'm trying to fight for discounts for you guys. Always check the newest video in the description for any new discounts. So today we are back out on the Evan GTS Carbon Pro. And today we're gonna to be doing our distance video. So right now I'm headed to the, the road that I normally do the top speeds. As you know, we do top speed runs for every distance video now. I'm gonna do the best that I can today. I hate going over 30 miles an hour and I think this board's capable of that. So I'm gonna do the best that I can. Let me get across this intersection and we'll do a top speed run. Okay, so the Evan is in a stock form with 105 millimeter rubber wheels and 42 pulleys. If you notice, it does look a little bit different. Uh, so what I did is in my last video, if you watch that, there's an arch in the center of this. I don't really care for it that much. So I took off this the, the squishy grip tape off the center and put just flat grip tape down. It did help some. Now the board feels relatively flat underneath my feet. So hopefully uh, that does okay for the distance rides. But I'm gonna do my best on this top speed. Let's see what it does. I got the GPS on. Like I said in my other video, the remote's only in kilometers. So here we go. I can't call out the mile per hour, unfortunately, because it's only in kilometers. Hey Marks, get set, go. That's full. Forty kilometers, forty two, forty six. So the remote said forty six kilometers an hour. And right when it hit forty six, the board started getting uh, the death wobble a little bit. I do have the trucks loose on this. Whew. But yeah, let's turn around, do it again. All right, turn around. I tightened down the truck some. Uh, I don't like that feeling where you get the death wobble at over 40 kilometers. Honey marks, get set, go. So that's full. 40, 41, 44. So about 44 kilometers an hour. With a lighter rider, you might get a little bit more. But for me, I mean, I still have it pinned right now. 43, 44. Yeah, around 44 kilometers an hour with 40 T pulleys and 105 millimeter clad wheels. You go up on the wheel size and that's gonna change, obviously. But as it comes stock out of the box, I got it with a 200 pound rider. I got it up to 44 kilometers. We'll see what the GPS says. All right, now let's go on our distance ride. I would tell you how much battery it has left, but you gotta come to a complete stop. So I think there was a lot of complaining about this on the, the last version of the Evolve. And that's that this real time doesn't really help much. So right now with the board stopped, it says 91%. So I've lost almost 10% just coming away from the house and doing the top speed runs. 92, it's fluctuating between 91 and 92. So here we go, let's see how far it'll go. Okay, update number one, we're at 4.2 miles into the ride and the remote says 88%. So that's update number one. I just wanna hit on something really quick promise I won't get on a huge soapbox so some people are commenting back and it seems like if somebody really likes a board then they kind of don't like my videos because I'm being critical of a board I'm gonna warn you right now I'm hyper critical of the boards if it's the smallest little thing I make sure that I announce it and what I'm trying to do is give people the most amount of information possible 
before they spend over a thousand dollars on a skateboard so if you like a certain board like i'm i'm hyper critical on evolve for their hill climbing ability right and i've gotten some people commenting back like i don't know my friend don't have any problem or i don't have any problem well i'm sorry i'm just i'm just documenting my experience with the board there's not a problem with the evolve there's you know the evolve it's not like there's something wrong with the board that i have it just doesn't like hills not with my weight and not the hills that i'm riding up i mean you can see the mountains in the background right i'm riding up steep hills so i'm being hyper critical about all the boards that i review if that annoys you i'm sorry but that's the information that i would want to see and from all the comments most people most of my subscribers want to see that information so yes hypercritical so the first hypercritical thing about the vault or the evan that i'm going to talk about is the first like one percent of the throttle when i'm trying to cruise right now at i don't know 30 kilometers an hour 35 i don't know uh, when i'm trying to cruise it, I can't find that sweet spot. It's it's almost like a light switch. It's either on and the board's going or off and the board's like getting no power. And it's kind of creating this herky-jerky sensation a little bit. I'll try to find a, a better sweet spot, but just be aware if you're just cruising around, that might happen to you. Update number two. I'm out of stock because you have to come to a complete stop we are at 82 percent and according to the gps seven miles so seven mile 82 percent for those that have bars on their board we're about to lose our first bar at seven miles all right i'm at 10.2 miles and according to the board we have 62 percent now it says 62 percent right now because we're standing still i just came up a hill not a crazy hill but a hill nonetheless and the entire way up that hill it said i had 37. so right now just because i started going again it says i have 56. so that's kind of what you're going to have to deal with with this remote is that fluctuation and to get a true accurate reading you're gonna have to stop and get off the board and then check it or coast down a long hill like i am right now we're back up to 63 percent now if i get going see 55 because i turned on the throttle 31 and then if i hit the brake 62 75 so because i'm putting on the brake it jumped up to 75 percent so you have to come to a stop to get a good accurate reading. We're about 60% at 10.2 miles. So I just saw a little bit of water on the road and that brings up a good point for this board. I don't think this board is waterproof. I don't think you can ride this in the rain or in the wet. Where the, you know what? Let's just show you. So if there's a rubber seal underneath this deck lid, then that will be fine it should be fine i mean it being at a low point water will hold in there so there better be a rubber seal but underneath where the cable go into the back of the board right here there's no seal around that i don't know if there's a seal around the esc heat sink right here i don't know it's just i would not ride this board in wet conditions Okay, just hit about 50% battery and I'm at 13.8. So it's almost 14 miles, 50%. That's pretty good. Now I will say with the rubber wheels, just like on the Onsra, these do not coast downhill very well at all. There is a lot of resistance on these rubber wheels and that's what kills the range. The heavier you are, the more amplified it is. Just like with urethane wheels, if you're heavier, you're going to get less distance. It's amplified with rubber wheels. The heavier you are, you're going to get even more less distance than if somebody with 150 pounds riding this board right now. But 14 miles, 50%, that ain't too bad. I will say that there is a little bit of bearing chatter in what seems to be the pulleys. Just like with the Onsra, this is running, trying to avoid water. This is running metal pulleys. 
and you do get a little bit of bearing chatter inside those metal pulleys not a big deal to me might be for some so i thought i'd mention it all right let's keep going okay i'm at 17 miles in and according to the remote when i stop i'm at 42 percent it looks like on the loops i'm losing about five percent each loop there is now a clicking noise coming from the back of the board i stopped to check it out one of the belts seemed a little loose i don't know if it stretched if the motor moved a little bit i didn't tighten it down enough but i really don't want to do that out here on the road i might end up having to pause everything and kind of take a look at it only because if i had an extra belt with me i wouldn't even worry about it i try to get home i keep going on my ride and then get home and then worry about it there if i broke a belt i broke a belt but i don't have extra belts and i'm a ways away from home so i think i'm gonna have to stop and check this thing out but 17 miles 42 percent this thing's moving okay i stopped and checked it i'm still at like 17.2 mile 45 percent but i stopped and checked it one of the belts went a little loose i don't know if that went for me it coming loose the belt stretching i don't know but i tightened that up a little bit the clicking is better but it's still there so i'm kind of starting to think that the grub screw i checked the grub screw really quick uh and it seemed tight but if it's a grub screw i'm just going to deal with the clicking until i get home a lot of the boards you have to take the grub screw out put loctite on it put it back in i didn't do that with this board i normally do it right out of the box but the evolve didn't have that problem so i said you know what i'm going to start not doing that right out of the box and see if it creates a problem i think i have to put loctite on that grub screw i think it'll be good after that all right just came to a stop i'm at 21.2 miles and the remote was at 25 percent so i don't know how this is going to react when it starts getting into the low battery voltage so i'm going to start heading back to the house because like right now under acceleration up a hill the remote says i have zero percent left but when i come to a stop it says i have 25. now i will say i'm impressed with how far this board is going on rubber wheels like I said, the Onzer gets 14 on rubber wheels. It gets 22 on cloud wheels, but it gets 14 on rubber wheels. So I think for the wrap up, I'll finish this up, get it down to where I think it's around 10%. And then for the wrap up, I'm actually gonna do that next to the other boards so I can talk about the differences a little bit. I do wanna say with this deck, it's a different riding style. So it's, it's hard to quantify feel right but feel is so important on the boards so i'm going to give you my feel of this board this board i got to compare it to snowboarding that's what i know this board feels like a big wide powder board so if you've ever been snowboarding you know that if you take your little park board into the powder you're just going to sink you're not going to have a very good time you're going to be walking a lot so this is a really wide deck it's a long deck at 41 inches the onzra is 37 and the Evolve, I believe, at 39, but I'll check on that. So it's a it's a long deck, it's a wide deck, and it feels like a big powder board, and it reacts like a big powder board. So yes, it turns, and you can carve, but it's more labored to get it to turn. Now the turning radius on this is amazing. Because it's so stable, I don't know what the truck is doing right now. Because the board is so stable, I can loosen up the trucks more than any of my other boards. So right now I have the ant trucks after that high speed run, I loosen them up. I have the ant trucks more loose than any of my other boards and it's still stable at the higher speeds because of that longer deck. So the turning radius is amazing, but it's more labored to get it to lean over and to get it to carve. So those real fast, deep carves, you're not gonna have on this board, not as much as the Onzra and not as much as the Evolve. So this is kind of at the end of the spectrum. The Onzer is the shorter, this is the longer, the Evolve is right in the middle. I really like the Onzer deck. I really like the feel of it. I'm not a high speed rider. So being unstable at high speed doesn't really bother me. I wanna be able to whip it and really, really carve really, really deep and hard. That's what I wanna be able to do. And for that, the Onzer deck works. But 
if you like riding at speed more, then this might be a better board for you. Because I'm telling you, these trucks are loose. Here, I'll just flip around real quick. I can turn around like very easily right in the middle of the street. It, it takes about a lane and a half or so to do a full 180 at low speeds. So the trucks are loose, they have great turning radius. It's just, it takes more oomph to get it to carve and lean. Just like a powder skateboard where it's wider and longer, so it's more labor intensive to get it to move around. But if that's your riding style at high speed, then this might be the deck for you. Speaking of this deck, so Evan is actually going to make all the parts available for people to buy. So if you're more of a DIY type builder and you really want this 41 inch wider carbon fiber deck, they're going to sell the deck separate. Just like with the battery, the, the ECU, every component on here, they're going to sell separately. So if you just need one of the components to fit, to finish out your build, well then Evan might be a great company for you. Remember discount co code RAMA should be able to get you a discount on it. If it's not working, let me know. Okay, so the remote keeps dropping down to 0% any time that I power on, and then when I come to a complete stop, it's right around 10%, so we're going to call that good. The total distance went 25.6 miles on rubber wheels, so that's really good. I'm going to put these next to the other boards, and we're going to do our final wrap-up. Okay, that wraps up this video. So, I put the boards next to each other, lining up the rear wheels, so you can see how much longer the Evan is compared to the other boards. Now, one of the things that I do agree with average e-skate reviews is that couple inches added to the deck does make a huge difference. And what they were talking about is they like the length of the Evolve better than they like the length of the Andre because it's a couple inches longer in the deck. So I do agree that it makes a huge difference, but where I disagree with them is I actually like the feel of the Onzer deck better. So. It's a big long board, over 25 miles on rubber wheels. That's amazing. The remote still had 75% left. So when, cause you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw cloud wheels on this and see how far it can go on cloud wheels. So when I do that, I'm a little worried about the remote not lasting long enough, but with 75% after a 25 mile ride, it's gonna have enough juice. So yeah. That's what's going to be probably up next for the Evan. The next time you see that, it'll probably be sitting on cloud wheels. I do have some ordered. I just have to wait for them to come in. It'll be sitting on cloud wheels, and we're going to do a distant test on cloud wheels. I think I'm going to get well over 30 miles, which is going to be awesome. So let's talk about who the Evan is designed for, or who would be satisfied when they bought the Evan. If you're looking for a longer board for, for stability at high speeds, and you want a really good amount of distance, then the Evan is the board for you. After that, the motors are barely even warm. So it has no heating issue with the motors or anything, even with my weight at 200 pounds. All in all, it's a really good board. Personally, me, Rama, is it my favorite board? No, I'm still gonna reach for that Anzra. So I love the range of the Evan, but I like the deck, the fill, and everything else about the Onzra better. Now, when it comes to the 12S power, both of the boards are on par. So the Evan and the Onzra are both running 12S. They both really scoot up hills. With the Evan, as I started to decrease in the battery, I noticed it more when the remote was telling me I was at zero when I was powering. It was really sluggish. So in the bottom end of the battery, it was really sluggish, but all the way up till then, it was really, really good. So no complaints about the Evan. Changing the grip tape did help. It's a little bit different stance than what I'm used to. So my legs are a little bit sore. My back foot, my calf was burning probably the last half of that ride. But that's not on the board. That's on me. I need to use the muscle more and get stronger on them. So yeah, you can see. Onzer set up a little bit different. 
You guys will have to wait for another video for that one. Throw in the comments what your guess is for the Onzra. I mean, I don't know if you can see the marking on the wheels, but you can obviously tell that those are not Onzra rubber wheels on it. And they're way bigger than the 105. So, got some great stuff coming to the channel. Thank you again to all my subscribers. Thank you again for everybody that comments. You guys are keeping the channel moving. Without you guys, I'm just going to can't X the channel, honestly. So, please, if you like the channel, subscribe, comment, keep it going. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me below what you liked, what you didn't like, what I can improve on, what you want to see. Thanks.